Hi, I'm Bailey, and I wanted to thank you for encouraging me and supporting me over this time that I've been doing snowboarding competitions to raise awareness to end child sex trafficking and um, getting into figure competitions. Um, right now I'm taking a break from figure just because um, I have a mission of finishing and completing my book, and um, the last task that I need to do to finish my book is go to Colorado and face my childhood fear which is wolves. So I'm going to get in a cage of wolves and um, hopefully live to learn and express and be able to share with you what that experience was like and be able to write about it. Um, but yeah, that's the last thing I need to do. And the day after that, I'm going to be on the snowboard for my first time since my accident. And in case you didn't know about my accident, um, I spent about 10 months last year in wheelchairs and crutches and scooters. And I actually started training for figure shows when I was still on crutches and my scooter. So that made training very creative. And special thanks to Kate Lonsinger at Lifetime Fitness that helped me with that. She had to be extra creative since I couldn't walk at all. But um, yeah, I was on a on a pro tour out west and raising awareness to end child sex trafficking. So I represented Love 146, and um, I left both of my boots untied when I got into the start gate. And when I hit a jump, I was in the air for about 80 feet, and with no ankle support, with my boots being untied, um, I didn't have any obviously support for the landing. So both of my ankles snapped and crushed on the landing and had to be carried off the mountain. Had friends had to give me piggyback rides and airlines um, had to carry me on and off all the flights to get back from Portland to Columbus. And that's when the surgeons um, in Columbus had found that both my ankles had been crushed and they put me on the, on, um, on the schedule for surgery. But yeah, I spent last year for 10 months in wheelchairs and crutches and scooters and and um, it's definitely opened the door to learn so much more about myself and my purpose in life and um, I don't regret anything that's happened. But anyway, I am writing my story in hopes to also encourage you to write your own story. Um, so please share in my journey as I do that and although that I haven't been on a board yet since that day that I crashed, I'm wearing the same exact boots that I left untied and um, I came up with this little campaign that I wanted to um, to help raise awareness for um, child sex trafficking. So what I'm doing is taking the, the campaign and I'm having friends try on my boots for me and help me break them in because when I wore them on my tour, they were brand new and I didn't even break them in so I left them untied. I know, I'm real smart. But anyway, so I'm having my friends wear them around for me and taking pictures and posting them on Facebook and looking up new statistics about human trafficking and child sex trafficking for the sake of I'm learning something new, you're learning something new, and more is being done to end um, this horrible thing that's going on. It's it's just too common. We think it's going on, going on just internationally, but it's it's in our own neighborhoods and it needs to be um, needs to be dealt with. So um, do your part and try to get more involved and learn more. And um, Love 146 is a great organization. So is DOMA as part of here in Columbus. Um, so I just also just want to thank you again so much for um, just sharing this journey with me. And um, I'll keep you posted and let you know more about what's next. Okay, thanks. Have a great day. Oh, yeah, and today's my birthday. <laughs> did uh, had my birthday and went to uh, Shape Fitness downtown Columbus where it was also leg day. So leg day is always a great day. Yeah, right. Okay. So anyway, have an awesome day. Bye, guys.